Yo, yeah, that's me. What's going on, Baba? I ain't never scared. I'm everywhere. They ain't never there. Come on, why would I ever care? Pound for pound, one of the best to ever come around here. It's cool and nobody. Look what I embody. The soul of a hustler. I'm really ran the streets. Elite class, baby. That marketing plan was me. And no, I ain't know this a boxing to be like. You can't live, judge my life if you ain't living it right. I ain't trying to say that I'm living a perfect life. But the real facts you get when you break it down, these fights add that to the performance that I put on tonight. Times that by my influence on my city, they riding with me. I supposed to be number one on everybody list. You see what happened when I no longer exist. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, it though. Yo, so my question to you is this. Will you be doing another verse after you defeat Brian uh, Michael Perez? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, you know, that verse pretty much came, you know, that, that just came to me. You know, uh, I had thought about that, you know, right before the, uh, you know, as I was gloving up. So, um. Yo, know, that pretty much came to me. I don't know, man. I'm, I might, I might got something for him. I might got something for him. I don't know. I was expecting a more confident reply there because the 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 the, the underlining question there is that you are going to be like Perez, right? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's without a question. Yeah, but you know, uh, you know, this, this here is this here is big, man. Ain't no telling what I'm, what might come on my mouth first. I mean, so hey, man. Just know, just know when when that defeat do come. When I raise my hand, you know, as the winner, then then ain't, ain't no telling what I might say. But best believe it's gonna be something special. Now, which Michael Perez are you expecting? And 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 please try not to give me the generic answer where you're saying you're expecting the best guy because we seen him destroy Magdomed. And then we seen him look very horrible in his next fight because of what he did to Magnomed. So, do we have a stable fighter coming into the ring with you on fight night? Uh, well, well yeah, I don't, I don't think we have a stable fighter. Uh, you know, that pretty much shows inconsistencies. But you got to look at it like this, man. Everybody keeps. I mean, the, you know, the Mago fight was, you know, it was nice, it was decent, but the Mago have defense. Nah. Did Mago step left, step right? Nah. Did Mago use a jab? Nah. But they both do. They both did. stood there like rock and fucking robots, man. So, you know, but much respect to Mago, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, you know it's, it's a very tragic issue that, you know, he won't be able to box anymore. But, you know, that pretty much could happen to anybody, man. And I'm from the street. I mean, I'm from Philly the way it does. I can look at a dude that put in work, you know, he killed before. But do that mean nobody else got to mess with him? Nah. I mean, that shit don't matter. But, you know, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for an effective micro and what I'm looking for is some effective fans, some effective critics. The way it's though, when I beat this boy ass, y'all don't keep, y'all don't say, well, he was over the downside anyway. And I ain't trying to hear that. I mean, give me my credit with my credit due because I never really get it. Now, that's the reply I wanted. I wanted to hear that confidence. Now, what what we can take out of that Magdomed fight is that this boy could take a punch. So are you expecting the 12 rounds? I mean, because you're definitely built for 12 rounds. I, I've seen you run in the streets in North uh, when you was here fighting at the Prudential Center. So you're definitely, you know, good in your stamina. But do you feel that even though Magdomed could have knocked him out, you still can? Uh, you know, it's just... This is it, it, a different type of knockout here. I mean, you, hey, who knows? Who knows if he's getting the one punch? I mean, or or he just maybe taking too much of a beat, or you know, fourth corner and pretty much just throwing the top. Um, yeah, but but you know, you gonna always hit his confidence. You know, right now I'm still on the plane, so you I mean I was kind of censoring, you know, my tone and censoring everything pretty much. But you know, I mean, it, it, it's whatever with me. I mean, I'm, I mean, <laughs> this is the way I've been since day one. So, I mean, hey, man, I have, I have a fight come, but you already know I'm down to go 12 rounds. I am I, I'm an all-around fighter, so I can go to 12 rounds. I can, I can go for the knockout. I can do all of the above. Now, you said that uh, in your post-fight you're going to probably say something big. Um, I guess in that division there's no bigger than a Klitschko fight, and uh, according to his last – I don't know, 10 fights, he, he gives everyone an opportunity. Do you think that a win over Mike Perez 
is a big enough win where Klitschko can now say, yeah, I can fight this guy without getting criticized for it. Well, yeah, I would hope so. I would believe so because uh, that's the bread and butter right there. Uh, you know, we talk about making business moves and we talk about fights making sense. And, you know, we, we talk about fighting for a position. You know, that's that's the best position right there, you know, because, you know, you know, this WBC thing, it's, it's a wonderful thing. It gives everybody an opportunity, you know, you know, to become, you know, become world champs. But we all know that, you know, that it's better if you defeat one of the Cliscos. You know, we're trying to be legendary. I'm not trying to have my time here on this boxing world wasted. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to hear, you know, too much criticism and how people want to say, well, you didn't defeat your Klitschko, so you didn't really do what you were supposed to do. It's like, but listen, man, I'm just trying to do everything. I'm trying to do it the best way. I mean, the league class is what I represent, and that's what I'm trying to do. But is, but is the goal just to get a Klitschko fight or win that Klitschko uh, fight? Because what, what are you going to do different than – the so many that have tried. I mean, when you think of Klitschko, uh, he's unfortunately these guys are underrated and they don't get the same credit of a Mayweather who outpaces his opponent. And that's what he, that's what Samir and Vitaly both do. They, they use that stick. They, they hit a guy in the face and so he can't take it anymore. Well, well, yeah, for, first of all, you know, I'm, I'm not any one of them dudes. So, uh, I mean, so you, so you definitely can expect something different. You know, um, I mean, I, I can't speak for any of them dudes. I don't know what they felt. I don't know. Maybe you know, a lot of them guys probably ain't even had a heart. I mean, they wasn't they wasn't people that. I mean, where are they now? You know, majority of I them. Mean, where are they now? You know, so so that just pretty much shows the type of fighters they were in the first place. I mean, so the, you know, they ain't hunting back. They ain't no Tony Thompson or they ain't no Chris Evrio. They're you know, trying to trying to get back to that spot. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, shit. I'm definitely gonna get a different, different person other than the people, man. And I'm trying to win. I'm not trying to just get the fight. I'm trying to win. That's the bread and butter. It's winning that fight. I believe that I can win. There's no shadow of my mind. There's no shadow of a doubt that I'm that I think I can't win. Like I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. win regardless. Put me in there. You can't call. I'm gonna win. Now, Brian, how, how is the situation working with the WBC? No doubt. They supposed to fight while the first day was supposed to win her view and Carlos Perez. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would, I would have probably rather had to, uh, you know, since one and two was fighting for the title, then three and four should have, you know, uh, you know, should have faced off for that eliminator. But, you know, you know how that goes. But instead, you know, number three and number thirty-three for it. But you know, you know how that go. I ain't, I ain't sweating it though. I'm, I'm gonna get there regardless. What you're saying is basically, Watson's got that shot before you. Is he basically has the winner of that? Well, well, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not the point that he got the shot before me. It's the, it's the point that you know, it never came to the table for me and him, you know, to face off, being those number three and number four. But you know, it was a whole lot of other things that probably could have played a part in that. You know, with the political. You know, war before you know between Go the Boy and you know Top Rank, or or you know the you know the war between HBO and Showtime. So you I mean the, the other things could have been you know that could have played a part in that. So you know I, I don't I don't fault him for it. I mean, but you know whatever I was I was here, but I didn't get that word. Understood, understood. Now you had your first fight with Gary Shaw uh, in January. You obviously proved to you know pack a house, have a good fight with. Uh, I forget the guy's name, Stoker. How how is that relationship with Gary Shaw? I mean, why the move to Gary Shaw? I guess a lot of people want want to know since you know you grew up on the main events NBC Sports Network. Uh, well, you know, I'm I'm actually on the plane with Gary. He's up he's up in he's up in the other seat. Uh, I mean, the move the move was something that we had to do. Uh, it was. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad we made the move. Uh, and uh, we, we we definitely had to do that because you know we had to I had to remove myself from my from my previous situation, and uh, you know that, that that's that's about the size of that one. You know I I don't really never touch on that because I vow to respect and never disrespect ever because it wasn't even like that. It was something you know something that just had to do with business and you know two two people going their separate ways. But I mean hey Gary Gary was there and uh, Gary was one of the options and you know we went with Gary and that's about it. Everything's working good. So far, so good. Now, I mean, Gary gets a reputation of putting fights where, you know, maybe it doesn't benefit the fighter. 
Texas went in Texas. I mean, how, how do you feel about you know him trying to build you up in Texas in the thirty first year? Um, well, you know, I just I actually just came from uh, from Corpus Christi. That's where I'm flying from. And um, you know, they 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 actually have a lot. It's a lot of support out there. You know, they show me a lot of love out there today. So, uh, so you mean I, I'm 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 not uh I'm not standing by that statement pretty much right now with you know what you just said. You know, not not discredit to you or anything, but you know, I, I just came from the city where I'm gonna be fighting at, and and it just showed me a whole lot of love. Can you hear me? Vic, you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Jennings. Uh, I think my uh, co-host fell off. But um, so you saying you received a lot of love in Texas? Yeah, yeah, I received a lot of love in Corpus Christi. You know, right now I'm uh, you know, I'm staying in Houston. So you know, I always get a lot of love in Houston. You know, courtesy of the man. But you know, everything is all good over here in Texas. Well, that's, that's definitely a good thing, man. I mean, Corpus Christi is definitely a fight town. Um, but I guess uh, at this time, just give any social media so all your you know fans could, if they're, if they're not already following you, can do so. And uh, you know, we want to thank you for coming on. Yeah, you know, it's always, it's always a pleasure to be on. You know, I want to shout out to my Twitter, you know, at by Jennings, on my Instagram at by Jennings, or on my Facebook. Uh, Brian Bye Bye Jennings on my athlete page because I think the Facebook, I think that's maxed out. They need to do something about that too. But, um, you know, shout out to the Boxing Boys. Uh, I mean, it's always a pleasure to be on. And, uh, you know, I apologize for me being on this plane. Couldn't really couldn't really speak that, you know, in a lot of tones or whatever. But, you know, I had to, you know, do what I had to do, man. I had to make sure I had to make this call and, you know, it's whatever. So come, come May 24th, you're definitely going to see Brian Jennings put the show on against Mike Perez. On HBO, you already know what it is. Yeah, though. All right, man. And we definitely appreciate you taking the time out to do this, like right on a plane and everything, man. That just shows a testament to what type of person you are, brother. And uh, we thank you for that. Thanks, man. Appreciate that.